Hey everybody, good morning. I finally changed my stream title to something that I'm actually doing. It's called Batch Painting 85 Militarm Tempestus Scions. The other boys in blue. The other blueberries. And let's see. We started about an hour ago uh, just putting down the white for the uh, like beige fabric. And I did, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 guys in an hour. Yikes. I was thinking, uh, oh, I'll, uh, do a bunch of one step and, uh, go through all 85 guys and then, uh, for a reward, just paint one mini. Just let me see. I'm just checking the stream over here. Okay, yeah, I am live. I couldn't see this mini on the camera. There I am. So I painted this guy, finished this guy yesterday after finishing all the blue. So that was kind of a mini. I feel pretty good about this banner. It's not perfect. That's fine. This is just for my own. Uh, I just want the, these guys done because I've had them uh, for quite a while. I'm just going to do it. The gold on the bottom here. There. That's my reward for painting the white on 10 other guys. Okay. So, yeah, I got about 70 guys to just paint the white on. I think I'm gonna try to speed up. We'll see. We'll see if that's reasonable or not. I know this really doesn't have to look uh, like, to be honest, like it doesn't even really have to look very good at all. Um, Cause it's just gonna get drenched in this Agrax earth shade. Cause I actually want it to be brown and that will Fill in all the seams. If the color is not that even, also totally fine for the same reason. So basically, just should do this. I think I should actually just prioritize like going fast so my brain doesn't start to leak out my ears in a few hours and I'm like still just blocking out white on like another 40 or 50 models. We'll see where I get. I was planning to stream for three hours. If I only do 30 models in three hours, I think I might feel a little discouraged at that point, but if I can do 80 in three hours, I will feel quite excited, so. If we're 
somewhere in between that, uh, I would say we've had a successful paint session. So I'm going to paint uh, 80 today in 240 minutes. That means I need three minutes of dude. That would be interesting if I could get up to that. But it doesn't seem very realistic to me. It doesn't like... It doesn't feel like it would be very enjoyable. You know, I'm... I am interested in that. I'm curious about it. I think I'm actually I'm most curious about like the mindset of like happily painting uh, 85 guys very quickly. In the past I have I've painted like I would say maybe like 40 guys like moderately quickly. Uh, I felt really good about that.
Am I winning? Are you a winning son? I'm uh, I'm slaying the gray. Slaying the blue. Painting the blue. I don't know. I'm actually painting gray over blue, so Maybe I am slaying the blue. Still doing better than me. Nice. If I can't, uh, if I can't win my own personal battles, at least I can beat somebody else. I have one more batch of ten guardsmen on the way. Nice. This is like three D printed. I'm being lazy, so I haven't leveled one of my printers to get it back up and active. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it counts as lazy to 3D print your own stuff, but I gotcha. Like, I've looked at 3D printers a few times and been like, I don't know, man, that seems like a lot of work. press a button. That sounds nice. I mean, uh, I bet there's more to it than that, but I believe you that they're not too bad. How you doing today? This is like, uh, the morning. It's morning on the West Coast. Like 9.30. Tuesday morning. I'm like, what day is it? Yeah, it's Tuesday. There is most of those are if you have something bad happen. Yeah, most of the other things to do. That makes sense. It sounds like kind of in the realm of maybe airbrushing. Like, airbrushes are amazing when they work. Just push the button and the mini gets painted. Yeah. Waiting on a response and playing wow. Well. 
I don't have nearly as many issues with my printer as I have clogs in my airbrush. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my airbrush clogs. I basically plan on it clogging every time I use it. Or, you know, I clean it. I clean it every time I use it. It's like, it's still more efficient. Like, I painted all this blue. I started out with the airbrush and just like blasted everything. And then spent like, I don't know, probably like a half hour cleaning it afterwards. And it's still totally worth it. Should I print more Ogren after this or get started on Kriegers? Uh, I don't know. What are you going to do with your Ogren? Do you have like a plan? Or what? Like, Kriegers seem pretty like, uh, like every, every army can use Kriegers. I don't know. I'm not like an expert, but sorry for the, I just bumped my camera. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Uh, hope you don't have where to go. Maybe that's a bad joke. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, every, every army can use Kriegers. Uh, if you do actually have vertigo, I'm going to feel really, really bad now. Um, every army can use Kriegers, it seems. But, uh, it seems like you need kind of a plan for Ogryn. I'm like running Bulgrin. To each it in melee. Oh yeah, so you're 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 printing Bulgrin. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like they're both really cool. Uh, what should you print next? I mean, I if you want me to decide, I am I'm most excited about Bulgrin. Maybe I should run Pulkrin with my Scions. I'm like, this is max allowable Scions, which is, this is like a thousand points of Scions. It's between printing another six models versus 120 models at the moment. Oh man, I don't know, I would, I would probably do the, yeah, I'd probably do the six first. Like, I don't know. I mean, here I am painting 85 scions though, so I don't know. Maybe I would do the 120 first. I mean, if it really is just like print a go burr, like, and then you have like 120 dudes. That seems like pretty satisfying. I might get off my ass and get Ogren done at the same time since I can fix my second printer quickly. When you say Ogren, you mean, are you doing Ogren and Bulgren?
printing out the max number of Bulgren and Ogren, as well as body cards and Nork. Nice. Style. Are you just going to like run them around or are, are you going to put them in transports? I've never seen anybody do it, but I really like the idea of the three Ogren and a Chimera that's firing deck two. You just like drive right up and uh, like kill a squad of space marines with the ripper guns. You get out and charge somebody. Can you do that? How's it go? Move. I mean, yeah, you could do that. Or you could just stay in there. You didn't you wouldn't use the firing deck, but you can just stay in the chimera and and the the bang bus. Yes. Yes. You've been watching Morty and Glory. Or maybe that's just a common reference. I've been watching Morty and Glory. Or the there's the bang, the bang storm lord. Why do you think I want 480 guardsmen, lol? Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, you could just eat them in a Torox, yeah. doesn't want 480 guardsmen. Really? Who wants to paint 480 guardsmen? That's another question. Is Infiel print out the troop transport variant of the Bane Blade? Or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's the, the Stormlord. That's the capacity 40. I've got a Bane Blade uh, right behind me that I'm building into an octoblade. Uh, when, when I say I am building it, I mean like, I think the last time I worked on it was several months ago, but uh, it is on its way, on its way to all eight configurations. Lots of magnets in there. Bring Stormlord, fill with Bulkerin, win? Yeah, I roughly had a Bane Blade that could do most configurations. I fucked up in a couple spots. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, mine's not perfect, but um, it's it's working, like, it's gonna, it's gonna work. I might do a second one for, uh, commission I have there's a million like I might do this for commission uh, but uh, it's good practice anyway think of it that way like it's not perfect but it's good practice I mean none of my guard stuff is perfect that's fine Most of what I do on the stream today is actually not going to look that good. 
Ironically, I couldn't feel the Stormlord because I was dumb. <laughs> oh, the way you built it, yeah. I'll paint a million guardsmen and vehicles, but I'm gonna keep keep it keep it simple, stupid, yeah. Yeah, you can't be a perfectionist with, with this stuff. Like. You can be a perfectionist with other stuff. As I like glob on the Corax White onto his uh, knee pad there. That is going to get a big helping of mud sometime in the future, not now. Mostly monochrome for scheme, mixed a little gold and blue for accents. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I think... I mean, that's... Basically, that's what I'm doing here. I'm like, mostly blue. And then... I'm just blocking out the... The lighter color accents here. This is actually, this is more work than I originally thought I would be doing on these, like more, more detailed, but I, I always do that. I'm always like, I'm going to paint a lot of stuff super simple and then I like make it more complicated as I go. I like the idea of guardsmen stuck on frozen hell holes, yeah. Fluffy excuse to run mostly multiplasma against flamers. Yeah. Did I tell you this is like a snow themed uh, army that I'm working on? Like the. Oh, I did. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I mean the sort of like the sort the whole like grim survival thing for guard. Like however however you do it, I think totally works. Just realized I skipped a bunch of backpacks there. I'm like trying to go fast. I'm priming all my stuff black, then I'm either gonna airbrush, stipple dry brush on grays and whites, then I blues to little, give a little color. Yeah, that makes sense. Like I like the um I like the stippling idea. Uh 
you could just get like a huge makeup brush or just actually any huge brush and um, if you just like jammed on some gray and white you'd have to get kind of a technique to give it kind of like a texture but you could probably like really quickly just do something that kind of looked like camo uh, at like tabletop level probably suffer through adding brown for straps and whatnot and hate myself yeah oh yeah with some sponges yep yeah that makes a lot of sense that sounds like a really good idea actually I wonder if somebody's done that already. It seems like the kind of thing that somebody would do. Like, you might be able to get some tips. Actually, if you figure out a good way to do camo with a sponge, uh, let me know. Like, even if it's just something like this, like, kind of sponge or this brand of sponge is like. A really good one. I'll report my findings. Nice. Are you on the Morning Glory Discord? Nah, okay. You just, uh, just tell me if you figure it out. Hopefully I'll be doing this for a while, so. I mean, streaming, like, for uh, as long as I don't have to get a real job. Print out an extra batch of Steel Legion or Kazakhin to replace whatever I test on. I mean, you might just test it and uh, get like a great result too. I tend to, I always keep my test models. I don't know, I just like to keep stuff. 
Sometimes it kind of gnaws on me if I really want to repaint something, but I, I try not to most of the time. Like, there's always more stuff to paint. I don't have to paint something I've already painted. But I, I am actually, I'm really tempted to repaint my, my first guardsman. <laughs> they're, uh, they're pretty rough. started my entire guard army because it wouldn't fit right together and being anal about my guard. Yeah. I mean, it's just like... It's tough. Because I, I like stuff to look nice, but... They just take so long. and do this all over again but that requires learning 3d modeling and that's a later problem cool i mean that yeah that sounds like a cool project that sounds like something something to do just like for fun <laughs> i was like hesitating to say it i'm like is that fun like i guess as a like it would be a cool project if that's um, something that you're interested in, I guess. I guess this is all for fun. Likely be fun, annoying, or both, yeah. Yeah. That seems right. Hey, maybe I become a big STL maker or something. Who knows? Yeah. These, uh, this body right here is the um, stone stone forge. No, station forge. Uh, Scion sculpt. I forget what he calls them. I really, I really like this, uh, like the poses and the, the armor. I love the models. Red makers make. Maybe, let's see, maybe others see my vision for overly niche and specific guardsmen. Totally. Actually, I think uh, the whole, any, I was going to say guard community, but whatever that is, anybody, I think anybody who has played guard uh, in 40k uh, has imagined like some modeling scheme that Games Workshop doesn't make, you know? I mean, even just like all the options for all the regiments, I think there's a real demand there. Like, I think it's 
it's actually like I'm, I feel fine just saying that's true. Like, blanket statement. All, all the regiments are in demand. I haven't seen Red Makers. It, does he like specialize or he or she or they uh, specialize in like guard stuff or What's the, what are the models like? I want a regiment from a relatively freshly discovered feudal world where it's an entire regiment of knights and last guns. They mostly do guardsmen and occasionally other stuff. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested in seeing that. Knights with las guns. Like um like feudal Europe, like like plate mail and chain mail. I mean scions are kind of knights with las guns. these like breastplates and like pauldrons they're supposed to be sort of the too, I think. They like the children of the upper class. Sort of like noble knights. They have Valhallens, Kriegers, Steel Legion, Talon, Desiraders, Elysian, Drop Tube, Solar Exilia, and Cadians, of course. Yeah. That, huh. I wonder if I have seen them and I just didn't know that they were red makers. I've definitely seen all those around, but probably more than one person makes them too. But I'd be interested to check out the Valhallans. Also have a bunch of vehicles. Do you know the game Dust? Uh, there was Dust in 1947, and then uh, Dust Tactics. It's like a 
sort of board game with miniatures. They had a bunch of cool mechs. Anyway, my the Lehman Russes in my army are are the walkers from that game. I got a bunch uh, really cheap, like when the game was dying. Maybe not really cheap, but like like thirty bucks. 30 bucks each or something. Okay. I mean, they're like, they're basically Lehman Rust sized. Uh, they're actually uh, very close, like within a couple millimeters in each dimension. Uh, like kind of, uh, I don't know how to characterize, I don't know. They're just like, they're like mech walkers with like guns for arms. Anyway, that's my, those are the main vehicles in my army. My Lehman Rust proxy is a full inch wider, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm hesitant to buy like 3D printed guard vehicle proxies. I guess you could just ask the, the person if it's the right size. But, uh, I don't know. It feels it feels weird too to have like like as I as I paint my 3D printed bits here. I'm like something that is like looks like the same thing but isn't like sometimes I'd rather just have something different than have like a fake games workshop thing. That's true of these two, like, I actually, um, I have, uh, even though it would make it, make, be at a disadvantage since it would be harder to hide, yeah. Redmakers has a proxy for Rough Riders, but it's Valhallens on fucking walls. <laughs> oh, you know. That that sounds really cool. I actually want Valhallens on bears for Rough Riders, but Valhallens on wolves. Uh, that's tempting. I have to look. I'll have to look at that. Speaking of like proxies that are their own thing, like that's cool. I don't know. I think part of it is like, like when people see stuff like that, if you bring that stuff to an event, um, like whether it's been okayed or not, like when people see stuff like that, people are like, damn, that is cool. Like if it, you know, and Hopefully it's actually cool, right? Like if you if you went out if you went for something like that, like like I would feel proud being like, yeah, these are my Rough Rider proxies, as opposed to like something that's almost that's like the same thing, but but not. Like you have to be like, yeah, it's a proxy. They look a, a bit closer, like Sabercats now. 
Oh, man. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I have to look at these things. This is gonna make my audio stutter. Yeah, my proxy is cooler than your official GW model. Get on to nerd, yeah. Ice Warriors Riders of the Imperial Force. Cool, yeah, I'll just copy paste that. for uh, Ice Warriors. Oh yeah, I've seen these before. things. Those are cool. I don't know what they are, but that's rad. I like this. I might, I might have to get me some of those. It's a cross between a saber tooth and a warg or something. Yeah. Yeah, they look nasty. I actually, like, I've looked at those Valhallans before and been like, they, they're they a little bit, the poses are a little bit different from my stuff. Like, they're a little, like, the guys are kind of, like, thick and blocky. And I've been like, oh, I don't know if that really matches, but uh, those things look great. I think, I actually think that would fit really well with what I'm doing. Those are a bit older. Same with the Janissaries. Yeah. The, is the newer stuff a little more like natural looking? Or yeah. Yeah, they look, they're a little bit unrealistic, which I don't mind at all. Like uh, the stuff I'm painting like, scions are pretty unrealistic. Like, everything's huge. Like, all the features are huge. Their stances are really exaggerated. It's not that I mind unrealistic. It's just, like, unrealistic in a way that doesn't quite, like, match the way my current army is. is. It's just a different style, I guess I'm saying. But... I think that would be fine if if my cavalry had a different style. Those are older sculpts, so they're wider, larger, part of why I swapped. You were you're saying you were you were printing those, but you uh, went to a different sculpt.
My old official stuff was mixed between old guardsmen and new guardsmen. Yeah, I had a wide with the thin. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I have... My guardsmen are from Anvil Industries, so they look... They actually look just like the old guardsmen. Like the poses and the size of everything. So, I'm kind of in a similar situation. But, actually, do you think, do you think the old uh, Red Makers Valhallans look like old guardsmen? Like, have you, uh, have you, like, seen the sculpts in person? I guess you have them, right? I don't have those, but I have the Steel Legion Kriegers and Janissaries from what I can tell you. Yeah, they look more akin to the older models. Maybe they would match. I I would feel fine like having slightly different cavalry than infantry though. Either way. I also saw, um, I really want my guys on bears, to be honest. Uh, I saw some, uh, Kislev dudes on bears, which is like, I guess, a, a Warhammer fantasy, uh, faction, or at least it's in the lore. It's one of those, like... It's in the lore, but I don't think they've ever made them. I don't really know fantasy that well, though. Anyway, uh, there's dudes on bears, but their their look is not not exactly Valhallen. I was like kind of on the fence about that. I don't know, dudes on bears. Doesn't really look right. You could easily convert Kislev to Valhallen. Yeah. I just have to, like, cut up the resin. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at it. I mean, it's partly... It's partly, like, when I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know. It's partly, like, could I do it? And then also partly, like, uh, am I going to do it? Like... Or is it just going to go on the gray pile? Because I got a pretty big pile of stuff to do. 
So sometimes, sometimes when I'm kind of like just thinking about new stuff, I'm like, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. And then I have to get like, I have to get like really excited to actually do it. Because it's competing with a lot of other possible projects. Yeah, mood. It's just a bit older era-wise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I, I kind of like the mix of old and new sometimes, too. Like, I like that about these scions. Sometimes it gives kind of like a, like an outside of time sort of vibe, like, like Dune totally has that, uh, I think I told you I watched Dune on Saturday night. Just the mix of like old and new technology together. Yeah. Was another 10 guys in an hour. Oh, the sound. Probably my phone isn't silent. You're you're watching through my phone. Mortal Kombat. Sorry about that. I heard the buzz and then I was like, that didn't sound like it was right in front of my face, so I was hoping I could ignore it. I just put my phone on silent, so if I get another notification, it won't do that. This stream is extremely low tech. Like I don't have, I don't really have a computer for streaming. So I'm streaming off of my phone and then I'm playing music and watching the stream on a Chromebook. Cause that's the computer that I have. It like won't run any plugins or anything. Cause it's, crappy so pardon my uh, my low tech problems that's just what we're working with right now All good. Nice.
So this is taking about six minutes a dude. Which means... This is 420 minutes is seven hours. Ugh. just for the the uh, blocking out the white for the other colors. Seven hours. Hmm. I don't know if I want to speed up or not. I'm like, oh, I want to speed up, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should take a break earlier and finish a guy. This is probably the worst stream idea ever. Like, I'm amazed that I have three viewers right now. Like, watch the grueling process of batch painting 85 dudes. Like, how fast and sloppy can we do this and get away with it? Come find out. kind of like a kind of a weird like masochistic challenge maybe that's maybe that's interesting to people who knows I mean people like reality TV so People watch people play WoW Classic. <laughs> wow, yeah. That's uh, definitely comparable. I just need branding, maybe, like... Watch me, watch me kill 20 rats 
and visit the quest giver. Like, we could gamify it, like. Paint 30 ankles and like, level up, achievement unlocked. I'll paint 30 ankles and then switch to a, a worse brush. <laughs> Is that exciting? Watch me suffer every day until a famous 40k YouTuber noticed me. <clears throat> Time lapse every stream in a single video and watch hundreds of hours rip past you. I mean, that sounds that sounds pretty cool, actually. I would watch that. I would watch the time lapse of this. Need to print more bases. I like, I saw the F word comment. I'm like, I'm not gonna read that one out loud. Uh, I mean, more bases. That doesn't seem like a a huge problem. Or is it like a planning problem? Like you need to lay it out with more bases on it. See, I feel like now I'm now I'm I'm about to discover one of the secret difficulties of the resin printer. Like, what it what is it about? What what is more difficult than pushing the the button? It just prints them. It's just I have to print those before other things. Okay. Oh, do you print them like onto the bases? That seems cool. No, okay.
between individual parts. So you still have to assemble them. Some don't separate the model as much as others. Okay. So why do you have to print the bases? Oh, maybe you just said, some are full models excluding base and others are entire bodies, just lacking weapons. Some are like GW stuff where you need to arms, legs, and backs and whatnot. So why do you need to paint the bases first? Can you just print whatever you're printing and then print more bases after that? Just want to assemble while I wait on other stuff to print. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think I'm nearly out of glue though. Let's see. I have like 50 guardsmen printed on supports still while I wait for bases in the last 10 so I can clean and assemble all at once. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's just more. Uh, efficient to do things in batches, as we know. As every 
every any horde army enthusiast will tell you. Do everything all at once. Every once in a while I have the impulse to like start a different horde army. And uh and then I hopefully regain my sanity. Same, I kind of wanted Cornate, Zinchian, Demon Army. Yeah. Uh, what's the basic horde unit for that? I forget the... It starts with a K. Or maybe not. It sounds, it sounds Cornish. Every once in a while, a Chaos player will be like, Oh yeah, I need to paint all my... Whatever those things are. Actually, I, I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind painting like a million Necron warriors. I think, or like a hundred Necron warriors. That seems. That, that seems like it'd be fun, actually. I would just do all all metal, or like just prime everything lead belcher, and just stick some green stuff. Not green stuff, green stuff, but some green details. Blood letters, and pink blue horrors. That's not what I was thinking of, but blood letters. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, that was probably loud. Uh, yeah, blood letters. Someone was just showing me their blood letters the other day. Prime black or metallic and dry brush highlight. Yeah, yeah, because they're like... Our blood, blood letters are wearing black armor. There's a Sigmar thing that looks like them, too, like the black armor metal guys. Probably Chaos Knights or something. Oh, Blood Letters don't wear armor. Oh, oh, you're t yeah, Necrons. You, yeah, prime black or metallic. Yeah, I was confused. Character blood letter demons have any armor. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know anything about 40k. <laughs> Except the guard. Uh, actually, I don't really even know the guard that well, but I know a little bit about the guard. But, okay. So blood letters are just like, uh, demons. I mean, skin can be pretty fast to paint, too. Uh, if you're okay with, like, blotches and blemishes and stuff being the main look. Pretty standard red demons with horns and swords, yeah. Resin printers, I am are better than filament since time is based off height and isn't affected by width and length. I mean, that seems right if you're painting or if you're printing, uh, if you're printing 50 guardsmen. that paired with detail that I went with that first. Yeah, I I don't think I've ever seen a filament print that I was really impressed with in terms of detail. Uh, also, I have seen some pretty impressive resin. Like, I don't know if it's getting better. But, like, very flexible, like, pretty much like plastic. There's all sorts of resin types now, yeah. It's becoming cheaper and better. I have a 3D printed Warlord Titan. Nice. 
I'd only go filament for terrain or maybe if I wanted to tighten again. Yeah. I bet for for something that big, the filament's probably nice just for the weight, right? Hope it doesn't cause a disaster. Okay, nice.
I don't know why this part is white. I'm just like painting it the same beige color so it matches the regular backpacks. Could be like a bedroll or something, I don't know. Who knows? I missed a couple in there. Oh no, I haven't painted these guys yet.
funny. I moved this camera up. Uh, cause I want to sit up st straighter, but I'm still like slouching exactly the same way. Just further away from the camera now. I love this like medic pistol with a little chainsaw on it. <laughs> like you could cut open your buddies, shoot your uh your enemies. You could shoot your buddies and cut open your enemies, like whatever you need. Ready for action. I don't have anything that fancy. Yeah, see? That's what you get from the genuine Games Workshop kits. You get chain sword pistols, chain knife pistols. And like, I don't know, little extra books and things. These backpacks are actually really cool. I like, I really like the detail on these, like just all the little, all the little parts, the little Lasgun hookup, the little Imperial skull, the like bedroll and the containers. Good backpacks. Yeah, but you paid like 20 cents per like 20 guardsmen. Yeah, and I paid like 20 cents uh, just for that little, uh, that particular pistol. And like the, each of the like hundreds of other bits. It's true. I'm not saying Games Workshop models are worth the money. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not like taking a position on that. But they are very cool, in my opinion. I like the radio operators I have. That's cool. That's actually one thing that I don't particularly like from Games Workshop. Like, I think the giant phones uh, are like kind of funny, I guess. I think that's the, I think that's the purpose. I'm not, not really sure. By the way, if you hear the thumping upstairs, that's my eight-year-old roommate who might come down any minute. Just got home from school.
Do you have the red maker radio, guys? I'm so proud of these hands, like, probably nobody can really see, but I literally, like, cut the hand off of a las gun. Like, I, I, like, dug it out of his palm with my hobby knife and stuck it on there. Those guardsman hands, so precious. You gotta, gotta put them to work. Oh, I didn't do his backpack yet. Can I do the backpack?
Some of us are back. Some of us went on to streams that didn't disconnect. Farewell, viewers. Thank you. 
know what palette is it a friend's house but hey i'm at 120 guardsmen now some assembly still required nice You're ahead of me. Well, let's see. I guess technically I have I have a hundred guardsmen assembled, so yeah, you're ahead of me. That's pretty cool. How long did it take to print 120 guardsmen? 80 assembled, 80 on supports. 1460 points worth. Nice. That sounds really fun. So it's your list is basically a horde, like a guardsman horde, with all the Bulgren, all the Ogren. That actually sounds really tough. Like, pretty stubborn objective play. Three hours per 20. Twenty cents each for the resin. It's like four bucks. Four bucks per 20, so like 24 bucks for 120 guardsmen. And then like, how long does it take you to set up the whole thing? Like actually including like stuff breaking. I'm just like trying to figure out if it's worth it. I'm sure it's worth it. I'm I'm just like thinking through like, oh, would that be a good thing to do? Six by twenty Cadians, three by three Bulgren, one by ten Kazakh, and one by five. One Lehman Rust Vanquisher, one Lehman Rust Battle Tank. It's not long. Slicing the files doesn't take long either. That's cool. Vanquisher is an interesting choice in there. I guess they're cheap and tough. That's kind of the theme of your list. It's the only dedicated anti-vehicle, so yeah. I could run a Vanquisher with uh these guys too, I guess. There's pretty much no anti-vehicle in Scions.
two melta and two plasma in every guard squad. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's like, uh, I, I would say, uh, like, last edition, that was anti-vehicle. I guess traditionally, like, melta would be anti-vehicle, but now it, it feels like um, just sort of like kind of a, a middle middle of the road kind of take all comers gun. Scions don't have enough of a range in my eyes to be its own army, in my opinion. Uh yeah. I mean I've I have played a lot of Scions before, like I don't mean I've played them a lot, I mean like I have run lots and lots of scions. Uh, I mean, I've run I've run these guys unpainted, basically, uh, like max allowable scions, and they're. I would say they're very like positionally sensitive. Uh, but. Um, they're totally glass cannons. They're very, they're very positionally sensitive. They're also very like positionally flexible, meaning like they can get around, um, and they shoot really hard. So like, you have to outmaneuver your opponent with scions. It's it's actually it's pretty on theme, I feel. Like, you can't just sit there. You have to actually, like, outplay your opponent. Hi. Would you like to be on my Twitch stream? Yes. Here. 59. Oh, oh, strength 9 at least. So almost anti vehicle. They don't have enough Scion specific stuff. It is what Scion's Command Squad and Torox Prime. Yeah, and like you would, I guess traditionally you would run a bunch of Valkyries when Valkyries were playable. Yeah, Valkyries uh, used to be in there too. Valkyries don't really do anything right now, unfortunately. But that would be how you would get to 2,000 points of just Scions. So with these guys, I'm thinking... I have a couple Torox. So it's a 6 10-mans, 600. And then... Uh, command squads are 80, I think. So that's 820. And then two Torox is 220, so that's like 1040. This is my finished Torox, by the way. It's all snowy. Snow in the treads. Uh, yeah, so 10... What did I say? 1040. I have a Valkyrie, but there's not really like a reason to have a Valkyrie, unfortunately. So yeah, I don't know that I could, uh, I could just run a bunch of guardsmen or the rest of the list could be like tanks. I don't know. I don't really have a plan. Command squad, Katie and Castellan sort of thing, like with Catachans. You're, do uh, Catachans have a specialist? I mean, they have... Um, 
uh, Harker and um, I don't know why I'm blanking on his name. They have that that character who slaps in melee. He actually looks pretty decent. I've never played him. Oh yeah, Strachan. Not a fan of named characters. Yeah, I always, uh, with named characters, I pretty much always just like have used one of my generic guys and just say it's that character or it counts as that character. Their their rules are fun sometimes. I'm not very like particular about sticking exactly to Warhammer 40k lore. So the rules are cool, but I don't like special characters on my field, especially if it's like a narrative event and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I've never even played a narrative event, but that makes a lot of sense to me. Zen one where you can actually shoot at other boards. Nice <laughs> to <with> my basilisks. <laughs> What's the dream? Did you like do anything useful shooting at other people's boards? Same with deep striking stuff. That is cool. Okay. Now now I have a purpose for my Scion army. Just show up somewhere. At a narrative event. Drop my Valkyrie on the opposite table side. Nice. Like the opposite table, like on the other side of the room. Yeah. I was in the middle of the room. That's cool. Yeah, man.
So I can abuse the basilisk 20 foot range. Yeah, nice. Did you like pick the table in the middle just so you can shoot everybody? <sighs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'd love to do some narrative stuff with these scions. I don't even know if anybody does stuff like that around here. I've pretty much only played like one of one off games and competitive stuff.
Hi. I have a question for you on yeah. the home context. Should I finish this because it's two o'clock? Are you available to? You? Oh, I could be. <clears throat> we want to watch um, the Avatar, but I've been leaving. Anyway, it's a long story about laptops and mm -hmm. she's with them. Okay. So if you were willing for us to borrow this, we'd be yeah. super excited, but also this is your house. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. that's okay. okay. I do finish at two. Oh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you tomorrow.